Hello YouTubers out there and um, thank you to all the fans um, who've subscribed to the channel. Um, I can't thank you enough and this is part of a thank you video uh, I'm releasing and hopefully it will be a series of different massive tutorials um, for uh, for you guys to help make your sounds a little bit more full and more awesome. Um, so thank you and um, so let's get started with the with the tutorial. So obviously this is going to be a, a, a bass tutorial. Uh, I created a track uh, not too long ago um, that was more kind of like a vocal trancey slash housey um, uh, track and this is what I have so far. <laughs> what I've got so far. It's not a whole lot, but <clears throat> obviously we can tell there's one thing missing. And that one thing that is missing is the bass. And so I have up here um, the actual patch we're going to be making. Um, it's, a, it's kind of like a dumbed down wobble. That's pretty much what it is. And um, basically what you get is something like this. You get the picture. It, it's it's um, it's kind of like a a swell in and out. And um, if you like it, um, well, enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and and uh, do a new sound here. And first thing you want to do is you want to bring your oscillator one pitch down to twelve. Turn on your second oscillator. Bring it down to 12 as well and turn on oscillator 3 and leave it at 0. Now with the knobs we're going to keep that up we're gonna bring the intensity almost all the way down because we don't want it to sound super squarish. Leave our amp up turn the volume all the way up. Uh, with the second oscillator um, we're going to bring the intensity down to about 2 o'clock keep the amp up and again bring the volume up. With oscillator 3 um, you're going to bring the intensity up just a little bit right there and leave it as it is. <clears throat> now what we're going to want to do is go to our voicing tab and we're going to change the unisono to 2. Turn on pen position and bring it all the way to the center for mono. Now we're pretty much done with that. That's that's all we need to do with with the routing. Now we're going to assign our envelope. Um, a lot of people use envelope four. I'm just going to use one. So click on envelope one and bring the level all the way up. That's all you're going to do. Bring the level up. And then you're going to take and assign that into your first and second oscillator like that. And then we're going to move on to LFO 5. So we're going to go to the LFO 5 tab. We're going to bring the rate up and you may not get it perfect but that's okay. Um, it, I don't use tempo for mine. so. We're going to test it here and we'll see. But that right about there, probably about 2 o'clock, maybe 1 and a half o'clock. Um, and then from there, we're also going to assign uh, envelope 1. Or excuse me, actually, we're going to put LFO 5 
into our filter one like that and we're gonna move this up just a tad and then scroll up just a little bit and we're gonna change the filter to a low pass 4 and bring the resonance all the way down okay so here's what you should have so far something like that we're gonna slow this down So you can tell it's kind of swelling in and out. And we don't want it to be so intense though. We don't want it to feel like it's being punched in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and bring the cutoff just a little bit more in. Once you've done that, we're going to move our X fade curve up here in the LFO5. Um, and then we are going to drag down on this number one, drag down on this number one, and then also assign LFO5 to oscillator one and drag all the way down as well. <clears throat> or, excuse me, actually, that's actually wrong we're going to drag our, our two knob there. Sorry, we're gonna drag our two knob there and it should be yellow, so not green, yellow. And we're gonna drag that all the way down as well. And then we're going to insert a new effect here and we're gonna make it a hard clipper. We're gonna bring the hard clipper and the drive all the way down and assign knob number two to both just like that and drag them up all the way just like so now now that we're finished with that we need to go in and add some simple effects now you don't want to add a whole bunch of reverb but a little bit is okay so we're gonna go in and we're gonna add small reverb and we're gonna bring the dry we're gonna make it a little bit dry and not too much size so around, I don't know, nine o'clock, a little after nine o'clock, so nine and a half o'clock. And then we're also going to go to our second effects and we're gonna add a dimension expander. And you're gonna bring that down as well to about the same thing, pretty much the same thing. So what you're gonna get is swelling bass. It's not a dubstep wobble, but it's a really, really neat kind of signature type bass that uh, is, is pretty unique. It's pretty different. And if you have some side chaining going on, this is perfect for side chain tracks, which obviously if you're doing house or trance, you're going to, 99% of the time, you're going to be using side chaining at some point in the track. So what you end up getting is something like this. sounds really really good now um, we did add those uh, the second knob to our clipper and I bet you're wondering okay well what, well, what is this gonna do for us right so what we're gonna do is if you're using FL studio you're gonna click here and do browse parameters and you're gonna link that to your controller if you have a MIDI controller just bind that to your number two so as you can see now a massive the knob is moving I'm controlling it here from my end with a uh, MIDI keyboard and what you'll get is some more of that that dubstep B type wobble in it and the reason that we're doing that is because um, it's I mean the same with all your bases and everything else you 
eventually at some point in this in the track you might want to use the bass to bring in a chorus and you might want to do that with a little bit of extra feeling and so what we've done is we've set it up so that you can do that um, and kind of lead into your chorus rather than just kind of make it like a simple uh, bassy sound and then uh, when you hit your chorus it's just still a simple bassy sound and um, you'll see a lot of artists do that kind of thing it's it's it makes for really really sweet and awesome transitions and um, so we'll go through it one more time and I'll be playing the bass line um, forgive me if I'm off just a little bit with the timing but we'll do that and we'll also add in the second knob to give it some more drive <laughs> Obviously the timing again wasn't right, but um, once you get the rate right for the LFO, um, you can have some really, really awesome transitions. And of course you're going to have your hi-hats in the background or whatever you have that's really giving um, the track a lot of power that's going to help you get through the transition. Um, obviously you can play around with, with the clip um, and bring it down a whole bunch so that your maximum clipping um, sounds somewhat like this. So it's, so it's not completely overpowering or anything like that, but that's up to you. However you want to do it, I mean, the sky's the limit with Massive. So um, what I'll do is I'll provide this patch as it is in the description, and you guys can download it for free. You don't need to go to my Facebook and like for Sun. Um, you don't have to follow me on SoundCloud. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. If you like what you hear, um, download it and have fun with it. Um, but keep in mind, uh, creating your own things um, is, is by far the best way that you can learn how to use Massive. I still have a ton of things to learn. And every day, it's, it's an awesome journey for me as, a, as an electronic artist to be able to share what little bit I do know with the rest of the world out there that really wants to get started with electronic music. And um, I can also tell you, as, as someone who's been doing it for a while, um, money is, is, is a big deal. With electronic music, you need to have good equipment. And uh, Native Instruments hits it out of the park by far. Massive, Contact, I mean, all of their, um, all of their sound banks, everything they have, their synths are amazing. And they make some of the best tracks out there that, that you know, uh, some of the biggest artists uh, you might know so it's it's definitely worth uh, grabbing massive uh, paying for it and um, if you really want to continue doing electronic music it will it will aid you in sounding the best that you can sound um, so yeah thank you so much and um, if you would like to follow me on Facebook or or like my page and follow me on SoundCloud I'll also provide a link there as well if you want to do that um, uh, it would be much appreciated if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm hoping to have more videos like this out later. So um, I'll go over some different sounds with you guys, including the, the pad that I made uh, for this track and a couple other dubstep wobbles and other stuff as I make it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and thank you for the thousand subscribers and I hope to bring you guys more videos later on. See you later.